ladies and gentlemen, welcome to season four of Autocrap and Crank. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> right now, which one of us is going to die first? <laughs> no! Oh, no! Is that a record? Damn, you stole my thunder! I was literally yeah, looking for the I should get some coal first. Can I reach this? I don't think so. Okay, I'm dead. Uh... Hello? Ah, hello, Shinx. Where are you? I hear you, but I don't see you. Do you need help? Uh, uh, maybe. Do you have a shield? No, but I have an axe. Okay, so <laughs> I, I distract him and you kill him. Okay, uh, I think the skeleton is not here, so... Cool. I'm gonna have a look. Make sure I'll light some of this up. We got the call. It was harder than we expected, but we got the call and we got it in. Our first step, it was fine. I want to set up a small, small campsite somewhere around Starter Town, so we are definitely close-ish. I see an emerald and I see a rusty. I kind of don't have an adventuring group. Do you guys have an adventuring group? Uh, no. Do you want to you have an adventuring an group? group? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm bad. I already died. Okay, so I'm I'm good with having someone to protect us. So yeah, let's go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I'm drowning for the fish. Yeah, that is not that is not very productive. Well, but now I have a much more handsome face. Do you think yeah. you have a more handsome face than I do? I doubt it. I mean. Ah. <laughs> 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 well then. Uh. Uh. Do you do you know what I mean? Where two Spidermen are just fighting <laughs> yeah. each other? Absolutely. <laughs> We are the Salmon Head group now. <laughs> is, is that what we're going to be called? The Salmon Head group? Yeah. I mean, these are Same. the kind of stuff that happen on episode one. And then they, we carry these stupid things towards the end when we end up building a huge Salmon Head on top of Starter Town. I'm, I'm <laughs> telling you right now, I am not participating in... Ah, uh, uh, we have the entire season to convince you. We have two brushes. If we find another one, we have three. <laughs> that's that's Tom. Run. There's a... something on your head. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Any reason for that? Yes, we are we are the Salmon Head crew. It was Rusty's uh, idea. Yes, that is that that sounds about right. I mean, if it's a bad idea, it's bound to be Rusty's idea, right? That's it. That's initiation. You have to step on the floor here. Um, uh, I think I should stay away from your initiations because mm -hmm. you know what happened last season, Calvin. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. There's no initiation. You shall have to put the head on. Yeah. I, I gotta tell you, we we kill we kill our own. So yeah. And we eat them. Wow. We do use very beautiful boats. I have a great view of the back of your head. Where are they doing? Open! I'm green. Hello! Hello! Hi! What are y'all up to? Um, heads and... Heads. Um, I see. And pink boats. Oh! Well, I, I have that. one oh. half of the deal. Okay. Am I, am I halfway oh, into your cult? You are. <laughs> no, no, it's not a cult. We, oh, we, no. we made it pretty clear that this is not a cult. Oh. I hope the other group don't have cut heads. <laughs> oh, that would be a season-long story right there. Yeah. <laughs> this is not going to be the start of something. I mean, That's it's it's the start of season uh -huh. four, so technically okay, it is. Okay, it's start of something. This can be the start of something. See? Oh. See? Singing salmon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're right here. Uh, we saw an azalea tree. Do people want Ooh, to go moss, that moss, moss, moss. Yes. Yes. Uh, no. Sure. Yes. <laughs> uh, I hate to say this, but I do need moss. Haha! <laughs> uh, are we supposed to... What if we can't breathe? Oh I... my god. Oh, it's it sounds... very pretty, isn't it? Yes. Ooh. I need an axolotl, right? Okay, we are shouting. Oh my god. That didn't feel like water. That didn't... That didn't feel too great. Okay, bye, Rusty. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it is so No, I heard that too much. It's stone. <laughs> Uh, Tom, Mantle Creeper, M -M 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 yeah. M-M-M-M Creepers, oh. Creepers, Creepers, Creepers! I'm, yep. Oh no! Ah, uh, the water got me, I couldn't move. Axolotl! <laughs> Come here. Scorpion. Oh, he's hunting, no. <laughs> okay, I'm very good at this. Where did I, I got you, yay! Oh, There's a shield and three Creepers. 
Oh, be careful, Green. I just wave it. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, mm, I don't know, but they want Start. to kill me, so don't push them to me. <laughs> I don't know. What's what's the plan here? So the plan is we make this cave over here the seven headquarters. No, not no, 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 no. It's not, <laughs> not, 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 not the thing. Hold on, I see diamonds up in the sky. Give me a second here. In the sky? Topic. Why do we all say things that are so, like, very close to song lyrics? Something, something, <laughs> diamonds in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Rusty on the nice. floor. Okay, there's a spawner of zombies here. Uh, and I'm dying. Bye bye. No babies. Oh, no. no babies. No babies. No babies. Um, I think... No, actually, I'm really good. I can't find anyone. I'm lost. Rushing, oh my god. Oh, Rust. <laughs> Wait, that's where we just were. The torches are right there. Yeah. Yep, I know. And the creepers as well. <laughs> Holy. Oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> Oh. Okay, I'm, that's enough. Right. I'm, 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 I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. Okay. Wait, there's an accidental here, so I'm gonna grab him. Got no! Him. <laughs> <laughs> if I make it out alive, no, I'll okay. give him back to you. It's okay, I have okay. another one. So, how I do we go out of here? Do we just mine our way out? Yeah, this looks fairly safe here. Oh, Emmy's Emmy yeah. flying yeah. through What's water. It? Let's follow him. Oh, that is water. Uh, I oh, we still have the water. Oh, oh, this is not good water. Is that no, no. Water? Thin water. I got doors. I got doors. Don't worry. Here. Thin water as opposed to thick water. Oh, thick with two Help C's. Oh, no. kill them all. Oh no. Okay, I don't know what happened. And I'm at spawn. Well, you died. Did we just die and lose everything? Yes. So I'm right here, starting all over. Thanks to Shinx who gave me a few things. I'm able to start a bit faster. She's living over there. Very nice. She's my savior. She's already settling down here with very pretty things. And I just have a bed. On the bright side, Green said that we are splitting all the diamonds that we found there. I have the redstone. Oh. Oh. I also have... Yay, the head. I have somebody's diamonds. I think... Um, thinking, I grabbed Slotto. Thinking. Yeah, how did you fall? I don't know. I mean, I was following Rusty and Crink, I think, and all of okay. a sudden the water disappeared and I fell into nothing. Yeah, but thank you. Thank you very much. Now I don't have to You're start welcome. from scratch. <laughs> Although Shinx helped me and she's been building a lot of things and it's really nice. Mm -hmm. So, is, yeah. yeah. We already found spruce, oak and birch wood. So I went and explored a bit further of Starter Town to find dark oak and mangrove, which are the wood types that we are missing for the starter base. In the journey, I was lucky enough to also find the jungle and then a savanna right next to the swamp. So now, we basically have all the wood types from the other world, including the new bamboo blocks, which makes of this already a fantastic start. Unless we die in a trail ruin, and I don't have the brush! Oh. This season, we won't have any lore. Nope, nothing at all, no weird stories, neither time spent working on things off camera just to show a tiny fragment at the end, so don't expect any surprises or hidden meanings. There won't be any weird voices or dark scenes or encounters or distractions, just me playing in a straightforward and classical way. I will find it. Just hang on. I... I need to make it. <sighs> well, that was good while it lasted. But since there's no point in trying to figure out what that meant, let's just continue gathering resources for my starter base. With all the sapling planted and growing, I took a chance at the community enchanting table and got some pretty good enchantments on the pickaxes. With that, it was time to collect the rest of the materials we were gonna need. For terracotta, I went to a lush cave nearby to get a bunch of clay, which I will smelt later on. I also gathered some moss and stumbled upon a shield, which was actually pretty lucky since we can use that for decorations. A small trip to the nether through our early game community portal allowed me to put my hands into the beautiful cyan wood from a forest nearby, and then run away before dying and losing everything again. I destroyed a nearby beach for Sansom and very patiently smelted everything that I needed. So now I'm ready to build our starter base. But before that, I want to show you something I made off camera. While people's been building their starter bases like crazy, I've been doing some tents. In fact, I just made one small tent right over there, where we have our first spider farm. It's not perfect, 
but at least it's a bit decorated with a small campfire. Here I sadly died while I was AFK for experience, so now my pickaxes are a bit worse, but I guess that's okay. And here we just sit and smack those spiders and grab a lot of string, which will help us to make a lot of candles. And right here we have the beginnings of the work on a mine, to get a lot of diamonds, uh, yeah, I plan to make another sort of tent here, but that will have to wait for next episode, because right now we have a starter base to build, which means this is gonna be the first time-lapse, <laughs> he's distracting me, it's gonna be the first time-lapse of my autograph season for journey, so let's go. I have a feeling like I made it into a video. <laughs> yep. We are down in the mines for a second, we came in search for some gold to finish the mine shaft. Sorry, I'm not here. Thank you, thank you, home. And there we go, six, that's all we need. Let's make six more power rails, and I think that should be enough. Rest on torch, very simple, pop, pop. We'll make this way more beautiful later on, but for now this is going to work. Let's test our ride and see if our minecart is working. Let's go! Oh, win. We are going. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, yes. We are almost there. Don't fail me now. Yes. So, the system is a bit precarious. It can use some work. And we can see I've been working a little bit on the second tent. Let me show it. We have the spider farm that we showed before. And now we have this beautiful new one with bamboo. And behind me, we have our starter base. So, did I spend some time building a new tent instead of fixing that hole? Yes. But you can't blame me, look at this tent. I love it. They look very good together. I love them. I can't wait to actually use that mine and finish decorating that interior because it's it's empty. But for now, let's go and talk about the head, the base, the base, the base. There's a donkey inside. Hello, donkey. Hello. What you doing? Let's try not to spoil any of the other bases on Starter Town. My design process basically consists of three steps. First, we have the shape. In this case, we have some circular shapes, some triangles and the tower. Very simple shapes on that matter. Then I work on the gradients, on the colors. You see that this matches that, that matches this, and this on itself is the centerpiece of the, of the color gradient. The third step is decorations, which we use to kind of cover all the weird spots that are left during the design. And in this case, there's a fourth step that I don't always include, but I think in survival is very important, and that's the landscape or the settings of the build. In this case, it's the two boulders and the platform where the base is standing on. I know I don't always talk in videos about my build process because I think it's hard to walk you through in survival, especially with a detailed build such as this, but if you're interested in that, I do stream on Twitch sometimes, and we basically do creative building there, so if you like that, if you're interested in that, you know where to go, the link is in the description below. But basically those are the steps, shape, colors, details and setting. And of course, in this case, we went for a very fantasy magic style of build, with a lot of unnatural colors, like purple, cyan for the roofs, with floating crystal, floating debris, and of course, 
the star of the show, the floating moon, I love it. And there are a lot of details everywhere, but we'll get to see those once we actually use the base in the future episodes, because right now we need an interior. But before that, let me tell you that we all gathered once more to go defeat the dragon. When we found the stronghold, it turned out that LazyCon had built, in only the first week of the server, an entire dungeon around the portal, full of redstone traps, mobs and loot. It was super fun, but I'll let you see that in details in his episode. So we went through the portal to fight the dragon, I took a bath with Fali while everyone else did the killing, we went to raid end cities, divided in groups, we did the breaching through the void that no one ever should do if they want to keep their sanity, found some cities, killed some shulkers and then I let the shulkers kill me a few times to compensate. And so now we are back here, empty-handed, not because I'm bad at Minecraft or anything, but because I don't like shulker boxes or elytras. But hey, we have an interior now, so let me show you. Welcome to my house. Here we have our first room, some sort of storage. I've been already sorting some of the stuff. Let's go up here first. I'll be honest, I know the base looks big, but actually there's not a lot of room inside, so I had to put chests wherever I could. We have the new hanging signs here to sort of serve like a curtain. They allow me to go through, and that's really nice. Down here we have a secret door that goes to another storage room. And if we ever need some more room, we can actually poke a door through here and go down into the rocks. And uh, I thought of a name for the house, and this is the best that I could come up with. Calvin is house, yes, magic. Mm -hmm. It makes sense. Down here we have the tower, and the tower is very small and very intricate, so I haven't done anything yet because I don't know what to put, so we'll work on that on future episodes. But let me show you the other building. Here we have a small sort of kitchen with a new pot and everything. I've been cooking some of the clay. That's really nice. Let's take that out. Nothing too fancy, and if we go up, here we have a blocked door that leads to nowhere, so that's why the signs are there. And here we have our bedroom uh, with a bed, some bee heads, because this one had a lot of bees and I had to do some murdering, and I can still hear them, and they are very annoying. So I guess I will have one more head eventually. That's all interior, what can I tell you? If you like this interior, consider your life choices, because it's mostly a bunch of random things spread all over the place. Uh, so yeah, I'm sorry for that. I promise I'll try to make it better in the future episodes. But for now, this will have to do. It's it's not bad. It's not that it's not that bad. I do like this window. I think the bamboo is great for that. I think that's all I have time for now. So I really hope you enjoyed this episode, and I want to encourage you to go watch everyone else's episodes because they've all been working super hard. So if you don't want to miss on anything, consider subscribing. For now, this has been Calvin, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye. Look at the moon. Look at the moon.